recording. So Neil, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, just to make sure we get you the right um, DVD. Okay. I'm just waiting for this clutch light to go out which means the uh, rotors are fully engaged with the engine and then I can bring the uh, engine and rotor RPM up a little higher good that's out bring that up they should match should they then yes roughly? yeah I mean, the, the RPMs are given in percentage rather than actual um, physical numbers of what they're doing. But um, if you want to know why that is, you'll have to email Frank Robinson and ask him. <laughs> It'll be a little warm while we're waiting here, but uh, it'll cool down once we get going. It's like a greenhouse. Cylinder temperature's coming up now, it's beginning to move, so that's good. You have to wait till it reaches a... Yeah, it gets into the green, really. But it, it'll, it'll, it'll warm up. Where's the fuel gauge? <laughs> uh, here and here. You've got two tanks, main and auxiliary. I'll take it as well as using the horizon, that, that dial there. The altitude indicator? Yeah. This, this one, oh, that's that? for balance. Oh, I see. That's, but we've also got string for balance on the front, because that will show you when the wind's going nice and evenly up over the top of the body. If the strings are pointing off one way or the other, you know you're crabbing through the air. Okay. So I'm just checking the uh, clutches. Good. Sprint works. Okay, I'll just make a radio call and we'll, we'll be off. Helicopter Alpha Kilo 2 on board, ready to lift for flight in the local area. 111028 and lifting. Helicopter Alpha Kilo. Good. So I just lift the lever nice and gently. The side lever? Yeah. And uh, eventually we should uh, start to come up into the hover. Just have a look around. You okay? Yeah, yeah, marvellous, isn't it? Good. Oh, I see little bits of red string you follow. Yeah, yeah, I'll just have a look around, see what's going on. The one down the end there waiting to line up. Helicopter Alpha Kilo crossing 1 1 departing through the drop zone to the north. Alpha Kilo. Goes fast, where's the actual speed? I mean. Uh, second instrument in from the right on the top row. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Wow. What November did you really good departure? November, idiot. So what we'll do, we'll go up to about 1,500, 2,000 feet, I'll level off and I'll get you on the controls yeah, now. Yeah, do you know right. where... Oh, I see, over there, is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Are you local or...? Uh, Gravesend. 
Oh, right. oh, okay. not, not, not too far. Back to Radio Golf, Charlie Echo rejoining from the south, five miles to run. Golf, Charlie Echo, runway 11, the QFB 1026. Very delicate move. Yeah, very gentle. I'm just wondering if my job helps out because I drive mobile cranes. Oh, okay. So we are constantly on oh, levers right. oh, and okay. things. Yeah, might well do. Might Hopefully. well do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you can see today the horizon sort of the grey and the yeah. light a bit above it, so we'll use that. So for it's so our... different when you're up here. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, it's quite hazy. Well, it. This high pressure is going to stay over the country for a while. This just, this is all the crap and muck and dirt, you know, and pollution. Okay. Um, and when we get a low pressure come through, that'll just blow that all away. But I think it's going to hang around for a, quite a few days. It's amazing how much it restricts your viewing. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, it really does. It's not very good at all, really. But uh, so, what what height are we at? Then? 1500, we're just going 1500. through 15. I'll come up a little higher and I'll level off and... Uh See, I always believed you had to have all hands occupied, you can't let go to scratch your nose and... Well, generally you can't, but you have to be realistic, but, you know, yeah. occasionally you have got to do a bit of nose scratching or radio frequency changing. That's oh, just amazing. Yeah. So Neil, if you want to uh, put your feet on the pedals, yeah. put your left hand down on the lever. I'll bring okay. your stick down for you. Just rest your arm on your leg. So we've got the horizon, and some part of this compass will be lined up with that horizon. Right. And uh, if we keep it there, we'll be able along nice and steadily. If the compass comes up above the horizon, we're going to push gently forward, pull back to hold it. If it drops, we're going to pull back and then push to hold it. Wow. If it rolls right, we go left and then back a little bit to the right. If it goes left, we pull right and back to the left. Nice small movements. I'll fly along with you for a little bit and I'll gradually ease off and you can have a go on right, your own. Yeah. All right. Try not to concentrate just. No, just try and you know, get the feel of it. It takes a few minutes to get the hang of it. As we come north, we'll eventually do a little left-hand turn a little while. It's take like us down to Leeds. It feels like we're Yeah, no, we're moving going. forward. We're going forward, so... I've got that, have I? You've got it. Yeah, I'm just wow. covering and... Uh, it's quite easy flying, really. It's just... You know, if something goes wrong, that that will test you. Yes, um, let's not do that today. No, no, no but you know, you know, the actual act of doing a bit of flying, you know, if nothing goes wrong, it is it's straightforward. You know, it's more common sense than it is. Yeah. You know, having bits of paper under your belt, really. And when you're ready, Neil, let's come round to the left. So just gently push your That's lovely. That's it. That'll do nicely. It's really good. And just push gently forward at the same time, just to get the nose down, get a little bit of air speed up. That's it. That's good. We'll just keep it coming round. That's good. Oh, wow. And when you're ready, we'll level off through here. Fantastic. Yeah, brilliant. We're above the cloud, the fog there. Yeah, we are above the ice layer, certainly. Yeah. Oh, I love this. This good. is brilliant. Good. When we get a little closer to Leeds Castle, I'll come on. I'll lower it down a little bit. You can snap a few pictures okay, if you want yeah, to try. No. And Leeds Castle is just up here. I'm not doing absolutely anything with my feet though. No, 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 <laughs> you don't have to really. Just push the stick forward, Jenny. Let's get a little air speed up. That's good. Good, just push again. That's lovely. And just bring her back and hold her there. Yeah, great, nice. Very sensitive, isn't it? It is, yeah, you know. But it's probably like when you were, you know, doing your crane training, you probably thought, bloody hell, yeah. you know, this is all a bit, you know, you practice and practice, you know, the only difference between you and me is I've just done it a lot more, you know, I mean, I'd probably be, I went up Diggerland years ago when my nephews were young, right? you know, and I've, I've seen those guys do the scooping and the thing, and I thought, well, how difficult can that be, and it's like, I was all over the place, <laughs> you know, and I thought, shit, hmm, that's not quite as easy as I thought.
So Leeds Castle, let's come round to the left a little bit, Neil. And do you want to take some pictures? Uh, yeah, yeah, go on. All right, well, I'll just come on and... Uh, a second. Yeah, I have control. And if you want to bring your feet flat back, good. It's lovely. I'll just bring it down a little bit. Out. Yeah. Didn't even aware Elise Castle was there, I must admit. Yep. Just enjoying the clouds and the view. Yes. Oh, How do you turn this on? This is her camera, not mine. <laughs> oh, here we go. That's just truly amazing, isn't it? Try and get one of them. We will actually route round to the yeah. and go round to the north side of it as well. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not too worried. I'm enjoying the flying. <laughs> Good. Let's try and get one closer up. Yeah, that's all right. Turn that off. Leave that there. Is that all right there? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine as long as you're comfortable. Okay. Gonna come back on. Yeah. That's good. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just route round Leeds Castle. Okay. I think I've got and it. Like, yeah, you've got it. Yeah, that's it. Just come back a little squeak. That's it. That's good. And then we'll just track north now. Well, what was that? Is that the wind? Yeah, just a bit of wind. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's just. Uh, <laughs> so just, you can stay on with me. Stay yeah. on with me. I'm just going to straighten that out a little bit. That was. Yeah. I felt the uh, handle turn. Yeah, yeah, you will do. You will feel the governor doing his business, so... It's amazing how different the wind can make the helicopter. I mean, it's coming over the ridge here, so it's probably setting up a little... And when you're ready, let's come round to the right. That's it. Good. I'm just going to pull the lever up just to squeeze, just to hold us there. So, mm -hmm. not so steep. That's uh, you doing that, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's the wind rocking us, but... Uh, it does feel weird. That's it, just keep her coming round. Echo Bravo is final. Bravo Bravo. And we'll just keep coming around a little bit more. A bit more. Yeah. <laughs> God, that wind. Good. And we'll just track it. There's a couple of little lakes down here. Something shiny coming up in the distance. We'll yep. head towards that. Okay. And uh, just bring her back nice and level. And now just gently push forward. Let's uh, get a little bit of airspeed up. And that's it. And let the nose come back up a bit now and hold it there. Ooh, that'll do nicely. Good. Wow. Sorry. Right. Feels different coming back this way. Yeah, because the wind's behind us. On the way up, the wind was against us. Yeah, we were into wind. Now we're downwind. Felt, felt smoother. Yeah, probably did. Well, I'm just gonna make a radio call. Yeah, go on. Helicopter Alpha Kilo at the ridge for rejoin. Understand one one uh, QFE one zero two six, and I'll call joining left base for one one. Keep left of those shiny things over there. Okay. On the ground, that'll be good. Woohoo! Bit of a head rush, isn't it, when it does that? Yeah. It's, it's knowing. Got a how it feels. Lining up yeah, on. it's just getting used to it, sort of being able to compensate for that uh, wind. <laughs> Sorry, if there's a bumpy ride. Say again? Sorry if it's a bumpy no, ride. No, it's fine, it's fine. It's okay. So just come a little left, Neil. That's it. That's good. And I'll just, uh, I'll just come on with you and we'll just lower the yeah, lever no, down. No. And, uh, oh, you got it? Yeah. yeah good. You want me to get it? Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. 
we're just starting to descend now and uh, steer a little. Nah, good. Where's where's the airport? What are we? Uh, the for? airport's just over there, actually. Oh, okay. It's been quite hard to see actually today. Do you have to fly a set pattern then? Do you have to fly a set route or? Um, no, not well in the circuit we do, yes, but not out right. in the local area. Just got to give you wits about you and your eyes peeled and. Uh, Helicopter Alpha Kilo, we're just joining high uh, left place for 1 1 on call final. Alpha Kilo. Good. Good afternoon, Hexon, Helicopter Golf Hangar Hotel, Lima Alpha inbound. Lima Alpha, runway 1 1 in use, the QFE 1026. Uh, Lima Alpha, just south of Ashford, uh, 1,000 feet, uh, 111026. I think my arm's going to rake after this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nothing seen oh, coming in, so I'll come uh, down uh, here. Ready for departure. Here we go, And, uh... Aluxon Radio, Golf Bravo, Echo, so which is nice from Pembridge. And uh, Hawker, 2,000 feet for a rejoin. Wind to X-ray, runway 11, QFB 1026. Runway 11 and say again QFE. QFE 1026. 1026 to QFE. Golf Whiskey X ray. Helicopter Alpha Kilo, we're now final uh, into the western end. It's amazing how quick the time goes, isn't it, really? Yep. Well, we'll go down to the western end and we'll have a look at the hovering so you can have a go at that as well, alright? Oh, okay. November India, after 2,000 feet to rejoin. November India, runway 11, the QFE 1026. 11026, Gulf November India. Just sit back and relax, okay? Yeah, very good, very good. I'll just fly her in and then we'll have a look at the hovering and you can have a go at that as well. <laughs> yeah, but it was very good. It wasn't bad, was it? No. First time. No. Pretty damn good considering the uh, hazy conditions out there and the fact you've never... This is your third flight and <laughs> ever. First time I've flown, though. <laughs> yes. I love it, I'm amazed how much I enjoy it. It is quite addictive, I can assure you. Yes. Quite expensive, but no other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to get a PPL on one of these costs you about 15,000. Nice. Is it easier to hover higher up than it is lower there? Uh, no, not necessarily. I use the stick, but what I also use is a reference point ahead of the helicopter and I can use any of these trees out here. Okay. Yep. They'll show me whether the machine's going there. Right. Or even if we're going away from them, they'll show me where the machine's going. Or even if we're actually moving back towards them. Okay. Now, if the helicopter does, for instance, move to the left, what I do is I move the stick to the right, then I put it back into the middle, to stop it overshooting. If it goes right, I go left and middle again to stop it overshooting. If it goes backwards, I go forward and middle. And if it goes forward, I go back and middle. So I'm always searching for this middle position which will keep the helicopter nice and still, but the problem is the middle position varies because the wind varies. Okay. okay. 
So it's not a case of random pot stirring to try and keep the thing nice and still. It's left and middle, right and middle, back and middle, forward and middle. And it could be any combination, a number of those right. manoeuvres in order to keep the machine still. So what we'll do, I'll do the, the other controls, but I'll bring the stick down for you. Just take hold of that. Don't worry about the pedals or okay. the lever. Just look out ahead, not down here. Right. And we'll do a little bit of hovering together. And you'll just feel that all I really do is just nudge the machine nice and gently. And right. then what I'll do is I'll gradually ease off a little bit of pressure so you can start to get the feel of hovering. Sorry. It's all right. That's it. Back and middle, back and middle, left and middle, left and middle. It's difficult, That's isn't it? it? Yeah, yeah, it's tricky. That's it. Just look ahead. Keep it going nicely. Whoop, whoop. It's all right. <laughs> Just keep working. Tend to overcompensate. Yeah, and, and, and as you get the feel of it, try and make the movements you do less. Smaller, yeah. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Back. Oh, and middle forward. Sorry. That's all right. It's okay. Just, all right, I'll ease off again. You can have right. another it down again for you. All right. That's very difficult. <laughs> no, you're doing really, really well now. It's really good. So it's amazing. Just the tiniest of movement. Yep. Yeah. You just got to keep oh, going trying. Away. That's okay. Just nice and gently. Look ahead. You know, pick a new reference point if you need a new tree or something like that to look yeah. at. If I'm not keeping uh. you facing, that's ah, good. Good. Keep working. Good. Very good. Yeah. Keep going. Take off with the gantry downwind. One one to land. Helicopter Lima Alpha downwind. Good. Can we just come on and just move over to the yeah, right, right, right a little bit? Uh, west of Ashford, request information for. Okay, let's have another little go. Okay, runway 11, one the QFE 1026. 1026, uh, 11. One. Electro 1800 feet. Remember it, yeah. Well, it's difficult. No, you're doing really well. Ah. Go on, keep working, keep working. Go on, just keep working, look ahead, just keep twitching, nice and gently. Neil, that's fantastic. Sit back and relax, I have control. Helicopter Alpha Kilo, we're coming back from the western end. Alpha Kilo. That was really good. You think really oh, all over the place? <laughs> no, honestly, that was really good. This, I love this, low flying stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, that was really good, honestly. That was bloody good, actually. <laughs> You're being polite. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't get many people who can do that after a few minutes. That was really nice. Thank you. You do the lottery. I don't, no, not normally. I think no, I might do. You might have win. <laughs> yeah, I would. Because if you get it, you might want to come back in here and consider doing your license. I'd love to. I'd love to do my license. I tell you, this feeling is just amazing. And the old hot air balloon over there, look. Just in front of us. Oh, yeah. Top with the X-ray on yeah. final one, one to land with three greens, visual one ahead. Oh, where's the guy? Helicopter Alpha Kilo crossing 1-1, one one, back to the pad.
And I got the Lima Alpha finals 1-1. One, one. Lima Alpha. Got Kilo X-ray uh, downwind for 1-1. One, one. That's just marvellous how you do that. Practice. That's all. That's all it is. That's nice. It is getting to the feet. You fly by the edge of your seat, didn't you? But you yeah, feel, you feel it. What yeah. it moves, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just got a couple of minutes to cool the engine down. And then we'll go over the office. We'll give you a certificate for the flight, so... Uh, that locks yeah, the frictions to hold the controls in position, so... Thank you very much, that was brilliant, absolutely brilliant.